All right, let's see. Hello. Welcome to this lovely ZHSL episode of This is going to be a struggle. We're going to play weird stuff because I don't like playing Z House Theory. But for all I know, this is theory. For all Helm's Nat knows. All right, so let's see what happens here. Hello, Bakus and Air. Uh oh, Ayaton. Trying to pronounce names here. Yeah, I think we're not playing out of theory enough. Like, I feel like we need to make this really weird. Like, really weird. Okay, I should be thinking. Thinking is a good idea. Uh, what's the plan here? Hmm. Uh, okay. Yeah. I have a vague plan. But I'm not going to say anything because who knows if my opponent's watching the stream. This is a z freaking crazy house ZHSL matchup. I repeat, this is going to be intense. It's going to be me playing things that I think are not theory, that turn out to be theory, that might be theory, that is basically me just crying. It's going to be a whole thing, guys. A whole disastrous, crazy, crazy thing. So I think we can go here, and then here, and here. This feels safe. And then here's some plans, guys. Actually, I don't know if it works, because then you can take here. Okay. Let's try to not die here. So the goal is to hopefully win <laughs> some points for my team. This is the final round of the Crazy House Summer League battle. Final round. All right, so let's think here. I feel like a safe move is to just continue with the plan. He's got no diagonal pieces. He's got night at, but I can ignore it and take. Thanks, Bakus. <laughs> so you have to like think about what your opponent has in hand. He has a knight. My king's pretty open, but I'm not too nervous about it. Because I can just take here, and he's got no pawn for checkmate. He takes here on f3. I can take back, and then I'm defending g2 with my queen. If he takes my queen, I have checkmate in 1. If he takes my bishop, I have checkmate in 2. Bishop at f6, queen at g7. How did the PC building go? It's literally bes behind the computer right now that I'm on, and it is like 70% done. I'm hoping to finish it. All right, so there we go. Off to a good start. I'm lagging a bit, but you know, that's just life. Life is lagging a bit. There we go. All right, so what are we gonna play as black? We need to think here. Where do I feel most comfortable playing as black? Definitely not, excuse me, e5. What should we try? Maybe the French. Let's just bring our knight out. 
and then push here. So it's pretty standard stuff that I don't know how to play, but like I said, we're gonna try to take it out from theory. Okay, now I go back down, push, get an e6. Um, let's see. Let's develop. Simply develop, my friends. Let us simply develop. All right, so he's dropping a pawn. Now, where can I go? You know what I can tr No, that's not gonna work. It doesn't work. Um, suppose we can go here. Our knight's kind of misplaced, but we're gonna try to reroute that. ASAP. So let's see, let's drop a pawn here, and we can drop our knight on f4. Attack the bishop and g g2, maybe push here. Win a pawn, maybe? If it pushes, I'm gonna maybe go bring a check in before doing anything. Um, or I might just take here first, actually. Now we'll give the check and try to get initiative because otherwise we're gonna get attacked soon. And it's gonna be not fun. So how are we gonna try to get initiative here and attack going? I guess let's just kick pieces out and see if we can get material advantage. Because I'm not really seeing any sort of fun stuff happening here yet. Maybe even bringing the bishop back, but I'm not terribly upset with my, my bishop is placed at this moment. Hello, self-service. How are you? All right, what's going on here? Now maybe I can push here? No. I feel like that's making weaknesses. Let's move the bishop here. Get some better diagonal for our pieces. Maybe now we bring stuff back down. Okay. It is the time for thinking. So my sort of plan is if I can eventually take this in here Queen takes and I have knighted e. No, moved back. So now we can maybe get some tempo like th this way and then get our other bishop to b7. I'm not terribly worried about keeping that. Let us think. I could also push here. 
I could also drop a bishop here. You know what? I'm going to just continue with the plan, but defend. Like, there's no reason for us to get down a pawn right now. But I am down a lot of time, so I have to move faster now. I'm going to take all that stuff. So he's going to drop a bishop here. And maybe I can just go somewhere like like I don't know I think we have to take it yeah, I feel like I could have played this better So let's see if we can get something. A little something out of nothing. Thank you for the follow. You know the screaming in the background. Okay, no, if he takes my bishop, I'll let him do that. Hmm. It's tricky because now it's just like, will we be checkmated? I'm trying to. No, we're not. We're safe, actually. We're safe. I believe we're safe. Ooh, I now I made it myself. I should have just gone to take it. Oh, I'm aided. I'm pretty bad at this game. I should have just taken it. Pretty sure I was safe. I calculated running to F8 and being safe. Oh, wait, what? That is unexpected. That is really unexpected. But I have no time to, like, think of a proper follow-up. I'm, like, triggered right now. Obviously, I made it here, but uh, I expected to be checkmated in three moves anyway, so whatever. Alright, let's try again. No, I should not have... I know, I should not have taken... I. Th the problem was being downtime, and I calculated that it was a bad idea to take that piece later. Okay, so let's do the pinky. Let's see. Positional moves, hopefully. All right, that's good. Let us use our thinking brains.
Hmm. Let's try to get an open file here. And get some attacks going. We can get some initiative in this position, that would be dandy. It's not a full pinky though. We pushed H four we pushed A four, but we didn't bring our rook out. Hello guys. Hello Wilwolf, Artem and Chess Choppin. <laughs> All right, let's see what do we want to take here. So I think the whole point was to take here, but I mean, now I kind of want to take here. So I'm going to take here and then drop on e5. I assume taking, but I mean. Thank you for the follow. Right, let's think. Yeah, I mean, let's go big or go home. <laughs> Go big or go home. Well, obviously, I'll take the queen. There's also a knight here, but I don't think it does much. It might do something, but I don't know if it does enough. I mean, pawn at, pawn at, rook, things are... There's a lot of things created out of it, but I don't know if it's worth it. Let's go here. And if he takes, I take with this pawn to avoid e3. And then I have threats like... You'll see. I've got some threats. Okay, now I got some more threats. Plus plus threats. Gotta get those threats. <clears throat> Excuse me. Alright, let us try our hardest. The threat is stronger than the execution. Okay, what is this random stuff going on in the background? Cool. Alright, that's good. Uh, this is annoying me. Alright, um, rematch? Alright, so we're going to play something else as black this time. Um, let's play... Let us play... Maybe here?
let's see what happens here. I don't know how anything about theory by the PT dubs, so like this is all strange waters for me. Okay, let's just remove things like knight at h5 immediately. Now we're attacking here. Let's keep trying to be strong. Okay, this feels good. This feels good. Feels promising. There we go. Let's get that stuff loaded up on this page. Let's try this. I haven't fully calculated it, but it seems fun. Let me take here. Yep, this is ca this calculation is fun. AF. some reason I thought I had two knights so now it's like a less fun than I thought it was gonna be but it's still fun yeah the reason I drop a bishop instead of a pawn is because of you know bishop at f5 or bishop at g4 do I play in chess tournaments I want to Let's try this. This feels also promising. Let's simplify. Let's not make these things too complicated. Let's simplify this position. All right, so now I have checkmate. Like I said, let's simplify. All right, simplify. Remember, try to simplify the position. That was getting too complicated for me. That was getting so scary for me. All right, so let's continue with the pinky because that is the theme of this ZHSL. I just want to get my rook up, okay? That's all I want. I just want to get that rook up. Oh, yeah, yeah. Uh, so I'm out of it. All right. Uh, let us go here. Crazy House Summer League is what this stands for. <laughs> I love Opera West, and he's like, what are you doing? <laughs> what the heck are you doing, Helm's Knight? The pinky is bringing the rook up, damn it. 
Well, we're playing a pinky variation today. It's called the delayed pinky. We'll get the stroke up eventually. Yeah, Summer League. I know, I know. Like, what? We'll just sacrifice this knight. Nobody needs that knight, you know what I mean? Let's try to get the move order right. Let's try to get this move order right. We have Bishop at, which is pretty fun. It's going to be a fun time. But also, I'm not terribly concerned with even taking this knight. Like, that's just mostly a blocking move. I want to take this pawn. And drop a bishop on g5. I'm sorry. Summer? I'm still laughing. Yeah, this has taken <laughs> a while. This started back in, like, I don't even remember it. Ages ago, like, oh my god. The summertime of last year. But if we're finally in the final, we're going to see a drawn Crazy House game. Okay, maybe. I'll try. Try for draw one game to entertain you. Alright, that, that made my posi ugh, position even better. Taking is not the move. So now I get my beautiful bishop at move. If he takes, I can, I have options, but I will just take back. So he goes here. Then I can drop a pawn, potentially, or bring my queen up. Probably bring the queen up. So let me think. kind of almost want to go here. Or here. <laughs> I think this is the move. Let's just take chances in our lives. You know what I mean? If it takes here, we just drop a pawn and we pretend like it didn't even happen. Duh. Take my rook. I'll just take back one day. Not now. Bishop can always come down to drop a uh, protector against any kind of weird rank mates. Alright, let's see what's going on here. So drop a pawn. I can take here. I think. But I might just take here. But I might just take here. I've got options. <laughs> I'll take this knight first. You can take here, and I drop a knight at, and then take with the bishop. We got options. Gotta get them out of theory. Bishop at see Bishop taking F six. Uh like that that's the idea, but like it'd be better to play knight at first. Get the check in. So that way you can take it with check if the king goes to h eight. And there's more threats on the board, because then the queen's more forced to take it, and it's just better. So now I'll take this knight, like I calculated. Takes here, and I'm going to take here. Just win some pieces. Go here. He's forced to go here. Oh, sorry, he's forced to go here. And now I'll go... Take this pawn. Attack the queen. If he takes here, I'm just going to ignore it and step. So now I drop a knight here. And now I think hard. I'll go here. Try to win this bishop on d4. Oh, I was hoping he would take. That would be even better. So I'll just take here now. Um, go here. Bring the knight back in. Uh, but first, maybe I'll go here and attack this pawn. Now, rook taking here is kind of interesting, but you know what, we'll just do it. Drop the pawn. 
Maybe I should drop a pawn here. Oh, okay. Well, we have a couple of choice checkmate. We'll just drop the pawn. But we also have rook 2, f7. Nice, 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 nice. Okay, guys. We're getting close. we got to do this. This is the final round. Let's do our best. You know I'm not good with black. We'll continue with what I did last time because it seemed to work. I'm not good with any color. <laughs> Let's be honest here. All right, so he's going to go for the exchange. Once again, no idea what the heck I'm doing. Okay, wait. I kind of want to just take it and go for the wild ride. I want to go for this wild ride that's about to happen here. Yeah, I didn't think you'd take back. It's block. It's getting too dicey over here. The waters are getting too scary. Ooh, this is actually dangerous. I have to take it. I think I need to try to get a counter attack. Yeah, let's try to go for the counterattack. I'm in dicey waters here. Probably going to lose, but let's just see what happens. There's no adoption today, guys. No adoption. So, let's see what happens. So, I think I can just go... Here. I mean, we have to just go for it at this point. Oh, hey, Jujutsu Yogi, how are you? Um, I'm streaming just for this one matchup. And I'm doing a, I'm having a hard time, let's say. Pretty hard time. Yeah, I'm having a rough time this game. I do not do amazing as either color in Crazy House, but I'll try again next game. YOLO. I mean, at this point, this is our only attempt. 
This is all we got, guys. Nice. Comic conventions are fun. Alright, let's take here. Take. Run for your life now. I mean, I'm pretty sure he has a back rank, mate. But I can just block. Just got back rank. Uh, maybe I can run away. We're going to try our best to not die here. I mean, it's pretty hopeless. I think this is the only one, but I'm pretty sure that I get mated no matter what. Wait, what? It's a rough time. Run for your life! Run! We tried. Alright, let's try again. <laughs> okay, let's do this thing again. But this time, let's do the full pinky. They're like, I'm not taking that. That's terrifying. What are you no. No, I'm not taking that. And I'm like, okay. Don't take it. I'm not forcing you to do anything. Nobody needs that queenside rook. This is terrifying. <laughs> See what we can do here. Alright, come on. We just gotta get two more games. Can we do it? Two more right now. Let's go for it. Okay? Let's do the full run. Home run, okay? We gotta go all the way. We're gonna do this, guys. We're gonna succeed in life. We're gonna try our best and cry a little bit along the way. Just a little bit. Four games remaining.
So we have a move like this, potentially. Seems really scary, though. Because I could also just play this. It seems scary. I feel like we can simplify and just bring our knight out. How much do I need for my team to win? Yeah, that, that is a good question. Alright, so we got some moves planned out ahead of time here. Like, the thing is, is that this queen doesn't really do that much if I don't let it. Like, if I play crazy moves, then it totally will. But... We're going to hopefully not do something like that. <laughs> We're not going to play really dumb, crazy moves. So now the queen's actually under attack, and I have initiative. I have some initiative, guys. And that's, we, have, we have things now. We got this check. Interesting. I think I can go here. If he goes anywhere along that diagonal, he's pretty much screwed. Now we can go here. And now bring the bishop back out. Trap that queen! Can anybody say trap the queen? Because that's what we just did. We just trapped that queen. Take that. So now he's got a little bit of counterplay, but I'm pretty sure I'm just winning. Alright, so let's not mess this up. This is not a difficult mate. We have time. I'm gonna think about it. Ooh, it's just it's oh, it's overwhelming because I have too many options. <sighs> I think this is the easiest. Oh wait. Yes, it is. I think this is the easiest mate. But it intimidates me. Pretty sure this is the easiest way to checkmate. And then I take... Here. And I check here. And I check here. And let's just lock that in. <laughs> Ugh, too scary for me. And the king d8, then I had knight takes f7. Forcing it to e7, then I could take the rook. To bug house play a... Just knight takes f7 check. Yes, I know. He can go down here, then I check, then he goes to e7, and then I take the rook check, and then it's just the same exact checkmate. Just a, one move later. Yeah. <laughs> Alright, so we have to win one more game. We're going to play the pinky. We're going to get those pinkies up. It's a little bit more dangerous to play the pinky as black. Okay, we just need to win one more, guys. One more. One more, guys. Just one. Please. Hmm. <sighs> 
-mm. Let's go here. Initial instincts. Let's just stick with them since I have no idea what I'm doing. I'm just placing pieces on the board and hoping that it works. And it's scary and I'm overwhelmed. But we're gonna try our best to not get mated. <laughs> so I guess let's take here and then here. Seems legit, right? Seems like a plan. Man, my phone just went off like 20 times, but I put it far away from me today. Gotta get those pawn breaks. Gotta play that pinky up on move one. See, guys? Like, this is the second Crazy House tournament where I've played the pinky. Works, alright? Upper Wesson and I have studied the theory. We know that it works. So obviously we have to block here. There's no other move. Except for maybe here. No, that doesn't work. So we have to block. Yeah, I think it's just better to... Maybe even knight. Alright, let's just go with initial instincts. That's what we're doing today. <laughs> you want me to play the pinky against Yasuo Serawan or Jan Lee? I'm so down for it. I will lose every game, but I'll totally do it. So let's push... Here now. We just cause so basically we're pretty much safe in this position as long as we never give a knight. <laughs> ever. Never ever. I think we can take it first. Let's take it first and then go down. I feel like this is fine. Oh wait, no, 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 this is the best move. Now he has to go here. We're trapping the queen! Guys, trapping queens. That is what we just do on the Helm's Knight channel. We just trap queens. We just trap queens, okay? We just trap queens. And then we take here, and it's GG. Trapping queens like a boss. Oh shoot, I lied. We did not trap the queen. We are screwed here. That's not good. Missed that move. Oh, wait, we can take here first. Take, drop a bishop, attack this pawn. Maybe we can drop a pawn here. Seems legit, right? Bang, bang, get away with it, but I say bang. Alright, now we have to think. I guess we just take, right? Take the pawn. Defense. Defense first. Defense comes first. And if he takes here, then he's undefended. I can start dropping pawns. I can go all around the world with this. I can maybe just take it and pretend like I'm not going to get mated in one move. Like, I'm tempted to just take it. But I also feel like there's better options in my life. You can just drop a bishop. Let's make him undefended more first. Drop a bishop. Oh, wait, that just made my life even easier. I expected to drop a bishop here and protect the king. If you drop a bishop on c3, then it also gives you some extra defense. So I don't know why he didn't do that, but I'm not complaining. 
Yeah, I, I wanted to play this. I was just like, oh, but he can drop a bishop here, and then he gets defended. Is there some way that I could, like, avoid him defending himself? So I was thinking it over. So now we just drop here. Simple checkmating patterns now will hopefully apply. Takes, takes, I have knight at here. If he doesn't take, I have knight at here. Simple checkmating threats, but we have to watch our time. So now we can drop the knight. There we go. There we go, guys. We won the match. We have to play uh, six, seven, eight. Two more games, though. So let's see if we can get the remaining points for the team. But we have officially won this crazy house matchup. Woo freaking who. That's awesome. <laughs> Let's get our rook up. Hello, Katar. Katar, I remember your name. Familiar friends in the chat today. Winning counts for nothing. Look at OKZH. <laughs> so angry. So now I'm playing a bit more relaxed. Let's just have fun and not be like terrified out of our minds. So he's going to take my pawn and I'm kind of sad about it. Oh, he didn't. So he wants a pawn now to drop here, but I won't let that happen. So let's see what happens here. This is very curious. So curious. Two games remaining. We have played eight. So what will take place over these next couple games? Only time will tell. We're playing the pinky. We're getting out of theory. It's working. I feel like I did a lot better in the crazy house summer league near the end than the beginning. I was just losing all my matches at the beginning. I don't know how we got to the end. Yeah, it would be nice to get another point, wouldn't it? Every point counts, so we're almost winning. And I mean, this has gone along. This has gone on for long enough. We might as well just win, right? So there we go. So where should we place the queen? Let's just place it here. <laughs> All right. So there we go. Another one for the for the good guys. Bad guys? I don't know if I'm a good guy or a bad guy. Every point counts. Alright, so, um, what should we do this game? Let's do something fun. Let's get this pinky up. Alright, let's push here. Free move, rook takes pawn. Bad guy, you're definitely not a guy. You're right, both of my categories were incorrect. Oh dear. Please take my pawn. Let's 
push. Let's push. Let's just push our things. Let's just push some pawns on our queen side. Say yeah, yeah, yeah. Alright, um, check? Question mark? Question mark check? Ooh, I like that. I'll take that. I'll take that, please. Please, thank you for that knight. Thank you for that knight. That was a present. If I've ever seen one. That was a present. Getting some presents. Alright, so I don't know if I'm actually doing that great in this position, but you know. Only time will tell. Last game. Last game of the matchup. I'm not going to play Larso after this because I have prior. I've got some uh, unfortunately productive things to do today. So I think we just take here. You know. Get those pawns in. Try to build an attack. My rook is properly positioned on a6. Strong. Defending the c6 pawn. Not overworking the knight. <laughs> Oppa Wesson says, What a position. This is mwah, like a fine wine. Like a fine vintage. Brilliant. Lar <laughs> this is what Opera and I live for. It's for these positions. We live for these positions. Want to bring this out? I will push before. <laughs> I am crazy. Crazy and proud of it. Ooh, I got options. Obviously, I got to take the rook first. I could take this knight, maybe. Or... I could just simply go here and then here. And eat some pieces. Nom nom. Let me nom up these pieces. Oh, I can even take this one. I think I want. I think I want to take this one. That, that's that. That piece is defending him. So. So I actually have a really cool checkmate that I'm thinking of playing. Thinking about it. Not 100% sure if it's checkmate. I want to take this. <laughs> Drop a knight. King up. Take. Take. Bishop at. Back down. No. Now he's blocking him. I can just take that rook, I think. We have time. Let me think. Okay, take, block, with check, take, take, check, up. And I have a rook. And then check. I feel like it's checkmate. Right? Or I could just make this so simple and just not. But I kind of just want to. I mean, there's not even a threat. You know what? Let's just try it. Screw it, right? I'm pretty sure I'm good here. <laughs> if not, then that's really unfortunate. I hope I'm not, like, one pawn short. That would be really annoying for me. Oh, no. I think I can drop block with the rook. Oh, maybe because rook at was forced mate? No, it wasn't. So now we can put a bishop here. Take. Yeah, yeah, yeah. This is mate. Uh, I mean, you can go this way. I haven't calculated that. Maybe it's not mate. Regardless, I'm having fun. We'll figure it out. We'll get the checkmate eventually. Even if I have to push this pawn first. 
All right, so now I'm pretty sure it's forced mate. Actually, no, it's totally not. I'm lying. I'm really bad at this game. Um, all right, what are we going to do here? Let's go here. Looks fun, right? Rook a5. Let's do rook f5. Nah, I, it looked too risky with taking the pawn here. Like bishop f, f1, then queen at, and then I'm like, ah, what's going on? I'm scared. I can take here. Because, I mean, if knight takes uh, and then I have this open, like, I wanted to use this bishop so that he can't get any sort of, like, knight takes, e6, queen at d8 check. Because now he doesn't have that option because my bishop blocks the check. Another reason to why I didn't take anything, like, here, I didn't take this with the bishop was just to avoid that. Because then it just seems sticky. I'm pretty sure I'm fine, but why risk it? Right? Yay! There we go. Good games. All played. So that's uh, 10. Yes, that's 10. Cool. <laughs> I might have calculated some mates and incorrectly and maybe made some extra moves I didn't need to, but I mean, it worked out in the end, so that's good. I think we did well. We kept above 2,500 in the end. That's, that's more than I thought was going to happen. All right, cool. So there we go. Final score, 8-2. Thank you to Emedel. I don't know if I'm pronouncing it correctly. Hope so. For playing great games. A lot of fun.